What's, What's up, up M Squad? Squad? Welcome back to the channel. We are the Morrisons, and thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, for today's video, we, we will be doing another DIY project. Um, we will be installing new vinyl tile in uh, our son's room. So, we already did one video. If you didn't see it, uh, should be a link or card up in the corner. You can just click on that, and that should take you to the other video. All right. So, um, the first one was our very first uh, time doing vinyl tile or doing floors. So, uh, we actually think we pros now, you yes, know. So, um, I think this one should be a lot faster and it should go a lot smoother than the first. All right. So, we and got all our two. Smaller. What? That's the end of the room. Oh, yeah. Right. So, this room is a lot smaller. So, the last time we did it, it took us like three days, of course, because we got kids running around and we got to cook and all that stuff. So, um, this room is a lot smaller. So, this should be done in less than two days. We should be done maybe by tomorrow morning, tomorrow afternoon. All depends on what happens today. So, um, as you can see. All right. So, nothing, nothing too big. Why did the camera zoom in? there so we think this should be a fairly easy install all right uh, we already got all the tools we already got all the flooring we already got everything prepared so uh we're gonna go ahead and get started all right so real quick what before we get started you see there's nothing in this room right we just took everything out the room as you can see, there's no bed. Everything's out, right? So but before we got started, I told her I was going to be able to get the bed out the room without taking it apart. She thought I was joking. She didn't believe me. Look where this bed at. Not taking apart or nothing. I oh! Out the room. Look, when I say I got something, don't question me. Where, where you at? Bring your face back around here. What? When I say I got something, don't question me. If I say I got it, I got it. <laughs> now say you sorry. What? Say you sorry for not thinking I get the bed out the room. What? Say you was right, baby. You didn't get the bed out the room. I didn't believe in you, but you did it. Girl. I said, believed in you. Whatever. She got me. I love you. She got me. She didn't believe me. All right, so we can go ahead and get started without pulling this carpet up. Go ahead and get the carpet up. Go ahead and clean the floor. Really? All right, get out, get out. All right, let's get started. Always go back and put quarter rounds on. So that's what we're gonna do.
we finished cleaning the floor, getting up all the nails and all the debris, um, and now it's time to uh, put down the underlayment. Right, as you can see, showcase the underlayment, babe. Go, go showcase that. Okay. This is what we have here today. So what is this? So okay. this is actually better than the first stuff we used. Yeah, we used it's the actually bigger. A, it's actually a moisture barrier and a thermal comfort. Uh, the first thing we used was kind of crap, right? Yeah, it was like very hard to lay. It wouldn't lay flat and it was giving us a hard time. All right, so I think this should be a little bit better. Um, it's like a three in one, what's that, four in one? Four in one. It's a, it's well, a all, of all in one. All right, so we're probably gonna continue using this throughout the whole uh, duration of us putting the new floors and stuff. All right, so we can go ahead and uh, lay it down. So, just got done putting down all the underlayment, um, and I definitely like this a lot better than, than the last stuff. So it actually was a lot easier to put down than all that the other wherever that stuff was called. So it is. Just got done. Fits pretty nicely. So now it's time to uh, try to clean up the hall a little bit from all the stuff we got laying down. Uh, go grab the flooring and start to lay out the pattern uh, and um, basically see how it's gonna fit into the room. All right, so we back. What I did was lay down some boards, um, as you can see, just so I can see uh, how much or how well they're gonna fit and how many rows. So, I now know that the first row, I'm going to cut it um, to about three inches. So again, that way at the end, I have enough room for an actual whole board rather than trying to cut the board at the end of the row. So I'm going to cut the board at the beginning of the row, and then I'm going to start, and then that should make everything else from that point over um, a lot easier. I'm going to go make my cuts um, for the first three boards, or the, the, the first row, and then I'll be right back. All right, so as you can see, I've already finished uh, cutting the first row, All right? Which is, like I said, usually one of the hardest uh, things to do. But it's already done, so now we can go ahead with our pattern um, and start laying the rest of the floor. We ready? You ready? We ready? All right, man, let's get to it.
two hours later. All right, so as you can see, we back. We got half the job completed. Let's see right here. There you go. So we got half of them completed. So far, so good. I will say that it was a. It's been a lot smoother than it was the first time. This only took a couple of hours to make sure everything was all seated correctly. Of course, a little once, twice over. So, so everything looking good so far. Um, we should be done with the next two hours. Of course, Jamela had to go cook some for the kids because they complaining and making all this noise and stuff like they hungry. So she had to go feed them. We're gonna take a little break. Then once we get done eating everything, Miss Miller gonna hop back on it, and we should be done. I'm not sure what time it is, but maybe about eight or nine. So, stay tuned for the finished project. All right, so we just got done eating. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish up the rest of the floor and, and hopefully be done within the next two hours. All right, so we are back. We are done. And it is, at what time is it? Nine. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. Nine so, so we knocked this whole project out. We started about 10, 10.30. Um, I mean, we're not totally done, because I still got to put the baseboards back on. But as far as the, the floor goes, the floor is done. Feels good, of course, because I did it. What well, me and my wife did it. Um, feels good. Everything is sitting great. Looks good. So, like I said, now we just got to put the baseboards back on, and I probably do that tomorrow because uh, I really don't feel like running my hair for the rest of the night. So, this time it was a lot faster. It was a lot better. I didn't use no power tools at all. All I used was my pocket knife. Um, a hammer and I mean that's about it uh, besides the uh, besides the stuff for the actual you know what I'm saying tile so man just shows you anybody can do it is that right yes yeah, sir a little weird yes yeah, sir <laughs> I'll put the uh, transition on tomorrow and fix all that stuff up make it look real good and uh, take some after pictures um, but like I said thanks for tuning in if you are not part of the M squad go ahead and hit that subscribe button don't forget to hit that like button Share this video. Um, if there was something in this video that helped you out, don't forget to comment down below. Um, and until next time. Peace. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye, guys.